Good morning, everybody. John here at Epic Maker Studio. Hoping you guys are having a great August uh, 18th. We're in the middle of the month, and we are about a month away from a bunch of releases from uh, Games Workshop, uh, Atomic Mass Games, got some Star Wars, and I believe it's some Star Wars, and some Marvel Crisis Protocol. There's some stuff, uh, I believe, on the horizon for Warlord Games, um, and a whole bunch of RPGs are going to be dropping uh, or at least some products going to be dropping. It's going to be a great month right after the back to school month. That's August. And it's a little, it's kind of a penny pincher month. These August and September are kind of notoriously slow months, um, depending on which retail industry you're in. And uh, friend local game stores really feel the bite. And we can see Games Workshop is still feeling that bite. Um, I think largely from their mainline games like 40K and Age of Sigmar. Um, Horus Heresy did not give him much success, but it is acting as a, I would say, a life preserver. It is keeping their head above water. It's not the great turnaround they wanted, but we've got stability. And as a lot of the market analysts have been saying, this company is still gonna be profitable for the, at least the next three years. So that's good, that's a good outlook. Um, and we'll probably see some spikes near the end of the year because we're going to, um, as we get closer to November, we're going to probably see October, November, see some increases as we get ready for holiday sales and some weird big releases, especially in November. And at the end of November ends the first half of their, their, um, their 2022 2023 fiscal year so it'll be interesting to see how the we, we have already seen how the second half of their previous year did you guys can see the numbers right there in front of you it'll be interesting to see if they get some big spikes again or if it's just going to stay flatlined but at the least at the very least they're doing pretty good they're very stable. They've been very stable for several weeks. I would say it uh, looks like almost a full month they've been stable. So that's really good. And I know I give them a hard time, but they deserve it. And But I don't want to see them fail. I don't want to see really any company fail. Uh, I want to see them to be profitable because that means the employees are profitable. That means the gamers are happy. That means there's a lot of activities, a lot of hobbying going on, which is really healthy not only for the economy, but for you and I as gamers and hobbyists. So Games Workshop, I'm hoping they'll at least stay stable throughout the rest of the year. I don't see any big spikes coming, but who knows? We'll see how that goes. Now let's get into the meat of this video. So we did get two new Team Tactic cards pop up today for uh, Marvel Crash Protocol from Atomic Mass Games. This is Captain America and the original Human Torches. Two team tactic cards. We're not getting three. We're getting two. Now, the first one is over the top. No, it has nothing to do with Sylvester Stallone and arm wrestling or anything like that. This is, uh, though this is a bit of a lackluster card. So there is some, I guess, similarities between the cult classic uh, over the top. Was it over the top? I'm positive it was over the top. Anyways, uh, this the greatest card, and you guys can push back on me on this one, or you guys support me. Just let me know what you guys think in the comments about this card, um, and I'll pull up the character cards for um, Nick Fury and the Howling Commandos and Steve Rogers in just a moment. We'll take a look at it and see who's really going to benefit from this the most. So um, it's unaffiliated. It is an active card. And during an ally, Nick Fury and Howling Commandos, I'm just going to be saying Nick Fury or Steve Rogers character's activation, and it can it can pay uh, spend two power to play this card. All right, so it doesn't it is not an action, does not require um, spending an action, which is really good to start off with. Two power is pretty that's pretty low. That's not too bad. Now you're going to choose an enemy character within range four, which is a pretty decent range. Um, then this character, whichever one you choose, can advance its normal speed. So both these guys have a medium movement. I'll pull that up here in a second. So it's about a range three. It's closer to range three. I, be I believe you guys can um, jump on me on that one or not. Um, with the base size, it could be close to a range four. I don't know. Um, and then 
and you have to make your move towards that enemy character, right? After they advance, the opposing player can choose a character they control to make an attack targeting that advancing character. So it doesn't have to be the one that you targeted. It can be any of their characters in range to make an out of turn activation and attack that character, which could potentially be bad. So let's take a quick look at these characters. So we have Captain America and Nick Fury. So looking at these two characters, um, I tell you, uh, I, I really, I'm going to be leaning a little bit more towards Captain America and being the better one to be able to use this card. Even though both are really good at dishing out damage and have got a lot of great abilities, I think Captain America's higher defense values, the Vibranium Shield, are the uh, better choices for you to... Uh, the, he's the better choice to move towards an enemy character since he is going to be taking a lot of incoming fire. Or at least one person is going to be doing some sort of out-of-turn attack, which could end up ruining your day, especially if you get any status effects or anything like that, especially if it's got a push ability that gets him out of the way. The reason why I'm also going along with Captain America or Steve Rogers is we already talked about the Vibranium Shield, be able to boost up his defenses, but he's got the superpower that is doesn't require an action called On Your Left. It um, As long as he's not holding an objective, which he probably isn't holding an objective if you just moved him, um, and allows him to advance medium range for two power. That's not too bad. When, when you take everything into consideration, that's not too bad because you're getting uh, kind of a really kind of a double move for four power and then you get to do your actions. And as we've already talked about in the past, but um, during the mini stravaganza that Steve Rogers really is a amazing um, close combat guy. He's going to really dish out a lot of attacks and a lot of damage. Now on the flip side, Nick Fury He's not, they're not a, he's not a glass cannon. He doesn't have that high defenses. He does have that stealth ability. So depending on who your enemy, your opponent decides to attack, you could end up not suffering anything because of that stealth ability or limiting going after, say, um, moving towards a weak enemy target who really can't dish out a lot of damage. And um, so when they do attack Nick Fury, okay, cool. You're, you're going to deal a little bit of damage, but because of my stealth, I'm out of range of a lot of your nastier stuff, and you're not going to be able to target me. So that means they can get in there, and they could really dish out a lot of damage, especially with like the prototype weapons, the shows over, sibling in arms. I mean, there are all these, uh, I mean, not sibling in arms, but got your back. Some really great abilities to really dish out some damage, but they're that potential of taking uh, a lot too much damage is there. So that's why I think Steve Rogers kind of leads the charge in this case over Nick Fury for for that card. You guys let me know what you think of that down in the description below. Um, and then we get to a card specifically for Jim Hammond or the original Human Torch. I might just say Human Torch in the future, so just be aware of who I'm talking about. It's called a New Age. It is a shield affiliation card. It is active, but it doesn't require an action. So just like over the top, really cool that you don't have to spend an action. Anytime you don't have to spend an action to use a team tactic card is usually really good. So um, he can spend three power to play this card. So when he plays this card, each enemy character within range three of him, which is pretty gosh darn far. Gains the incinerate special condition. Now, this round, when an allied shield character is attacking a character with the incinerate special condition, if the attack type is um, energy, then you get to add two dice to the attack roll. We've already seen the... We know that there's the grenade attack uh, from the Nick Fury, and we, we know that there's other characters with energy attacks, even if you aren't, aren't running um, a whole bunch of different shield characters that don't have energy attacks, but I mean, or that do have energy attacks, still bolstering two dice 
plus that character has incinerate on it is pretty nice to do and the other thing to remember is that uh, that Jim Hammond uh, the original Human Torch has a couple abilities that play off of that incinerate like the Nova Burst which once again I don't know if it's an area a two attack or if it's a beam two it seems really weird to be a beam two attack because I really don't think you're going to be hitting more really more than one character with a beam two it just seems really weird I really feel like it's area two at any rate um if uh any of those people have the incinerate. Um, oh, like, um, they already have incinerate. What I was looking for, sorry, is the control burn. When this character um, ends in advance, it gains one power for each character within range two with the incinerate special condition. And you already just zapped a whole bunch of people with incinerate. So all that power you had just spent, you're going to get back. That's an innate ability, and you can turn around hit him with that Nova Burst or any of these other abilities, even popping off hit and run because he just got a big power boost back and slapped a whole bunch of people with Incinerate. There's a, I think it's a really good combo card, probably the better of the two and makes me want to bring out the original Human Torch a little bit more. Um, he's still, I think, um, kind of the, I need one more character that's around threat three. Okay, we'll bring in the Human Torch. I think he's still in that realm. But this card, A New Age, I think really uh, kind of gives you a little bit more incentive to bring him along. So you guys let me know what you think of these two cards. Uh, am I on point on this or am I just horribly wrong? I really want to know because <laughs> if you guys can counter my ideas here with uh, with some better ideas in regards to these cards or maybe you have some um, character you, you know some good characters that would be perfect for dealing um, shield characters that would be good for dealing energy damage um, that would go along great with like the new age or you got a better use for over the top please put it in the description below counter me or support me then eh, if you support me great I appreciate it but counter me Tell me that I'm wrong and say, John, this is what you need to be using this for. That way I can, <laughs> I can turn around and use it against my opponents. Yes, I'm getting some coaching advice from you guys because you guys are really smart about this stuff. And I do super appreciate it. Anyways, uh, I want to say thanks to all my subscribers. Um, you guys have really helped me grow over the past few months. Um, we will be announcing this quarter's giveaway here really soon. I'm still waiting to hear back from one of the other winners of the this last quarter, second quarter. He has not gotten back to me. He or she, they have not gotten back to me. And if I don't get a, if I don't hear back in probably a week, I'm just going to put that into the prize pool again, and we'll just do a double giveaway in quarter three. I'm just waiting to hear back. I want to give him plenty of time to do that, even though it's been. Uh, a month and a half. So we'll give them one more week. Anyways, you guys have yourself a great day. If I don't see you or talk to you before the weekend, have a great weekend and I'll chat with you all later. See ya.